What's up guys, I'm back with a new video and this is with Naruto's and Otsutsuki Remastered Part 2. Now please support this video and please go and check out with Naruto's Assortment Part 3. I released it yesterday but didn't do as well as my videos usually do. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Now Naruto wakes up and Kushina says, Naruto, why do you attack everyone? And Naruto says, what do you mean? And Kushina says, well, you attacked Kakashi, Menma, and Rei. And Naruto says, Well, I did black out and I remember speaking to a man. The man wore a robe. He had some horns, a moon, and a circle in his head. He also had two purple eyes with the wings in them. And this shook Kushina. And she says, Naruto, come with me right now. And she takes Naruto to Minato. And Minato is shocked, he says. Naruto, that man had the Renegon. Naruto's like, what's the Renegon? And he says, well, it's a legendary dojutsu that the Sage of Six Paths had, and Jiraiya's sensei had. We thought that was only one pair on Earth. Naruto says, well, the guy told me I'm able to unlock it, and this shocks me, Naruto, and he spits out his drink. And he's like, wait, what? I mean, Naruto says, okay, come back tomorrow. I'll make sure you pack some food, water, and all that. And Naruto says, okay, I will. Now, the whole team doesn't know they have a mission. And they're like, but we didn't pass. I'm getting sent back to the academy. And Kakashi says, nope, he's going to test you in another way. And Naruto says, I see. Naruto packs all of the stuff he needs and he gets there earlier than everyone else. Then comes in Rei, Sasuke, Menma, and then Kakashi, who is an hour late. And Minato says, Kakashi, you know this is serious. When I call you in, you shouldn't be late. And Kakashi scratches his head and says, oh, sorry, Sensei. And Minato says, okay, Kushina is going to be accompanying you. You're going to be going on a C-rank mission and she's going to see how your team does. She's going to verify if I should make you guys genin or maybe i should start you guys off as chunin but i suppose some of the council would say that's favoritism and naruto says Ugh, i never got the council i don't know why you don't just abolish them they're annoying and he says because i want everyone to have an equal chance to speak and then tazuna comes in and he reeks of alcohol and naruto says oh he smells like a pig and tazuna says Hey kid, who are you calling a pig? And Naruto starts laughing and says, Oh, he's drunk as well. And Tazuna gets composed and says, Oh, <laughs> so these are the squads that are going to be protecting me? <laughs> well, can't I get any better protection? And Kakashi says, Well, you only ordered a C rank mission, so and this is more than enough. And Tazuna says, well, that kid looks useless. And he points to Naruto. Then he points to Sasuke and says, yeah, he's fine. She's fine. And points to Menma after and says, he's fine. And Naruto gets pissed. And he disappears. And he has his sword to Tazuna's neck. And says, say that again about me. Old man. And he sheaves his blade. And he disappears, waiting outside of the village. And the old man says, where did that kid go? And... He just composed himself again. He's not drunk anymore after this. And Kakashi says, he probably teleported to the front gate or something. You know, you shouldn't judge people just by how they look. In fact, he may be many times stronger than me. And I'm a Jonin. And they walk out of the door and Tazuna follows and says, many times stronger. Kid, what does that mean? Now, they keep going and Naruto says, Oh, I've sent something up ahead. Hold on. And he says, Fireball, blazing blitz! And he shoots out fire from his mouth without even carving any hand signs. And the demon mist brothers jump out, trying to block it with water jutsu. But the fireball kills one of them. But he poofs and he says, This kid really thinks he can beat us tuning so easily. And me again, and Naruto says, actually, I'm a villager. And he pulls out his sword, and he slits one's throat. 
And then he's and then he goes to the other one, ripping the chain out of his hand, and says, "I'm gonna torture you now. Give me information." And he says, "No, I won't." And Naruto starts bashing his head into the tree, bashing it, bashing it, bashing it, bashing it, constantly bashing it. And he says, "Are you gonna tell me?" He says, "I what?" And Naruto starts bashing it and bashing it and bashing it and bashing it up until he kills him by stomping on his head splattering blood and brains everywhere and says let's go guys and this shocks everyone they're like i never knew naruto would do such a thing and kushin is like naruto you should have tried to and he says he wouldn't have budged and i'm pretty sure i have a full room of the system and he looks at tazan and says you lied to us and he's like yes i did and Naruto says, and so, explain to me who probably will be in front and who is behind this. I'll do the same thing I did to him, to you. And Tazen is scared. He says, well, Gato, he's trying to stop me from building my bridge. It will make him lose profit. He's extorting our town. Our people are starving. There's famine. We're all dying. And Naruto says, I see. I'll deal with this Gato for you. And they go forward. And Naruto looks at the rabbit and he walks up to it. But before he could get into the forest, a blade comes swinging and Naruto blocks and says, Zabuza Mamachi, huh? And he says, oh, kid, you managed to block my attack. And Naruto rushes for Zabuza's blade, tries to slash it, and they're clashing. Naruto using one hand and the same as Zabuza. And it seems they're equal strength. Naruto activates his Byakugan and starts getting a bit faster, same as Zabuza, matching his speeds. Naruto tries to stab him in his chakra punch with the sword, but he misses. Zabuza's dodging all of these attacks and blocking. Until Naruto says, Sharingan! And he says, Chidori! And the Chidori is purple, and he runs it. But Zabuza kicks him, sending him flying, and Naruto uses his sword to stop him from being flying and he says okay then i guess i'm gonna have to actually deal with you properly and naruto disappears only kushina kakashi menma rei and sasuke could keep up and naruto steps it up a notch rei and menma can barely keep up then again they couldn't see anything same as sasuke and tazan is like what's happening until they see Na- Zabuza's blade knocked out, same as Naruto's. And they're like, wait, what? And they keep fighting, and they jump down. Zabuza's blade, when he picks it up, part of it shatters, and he says, Tsh, I'll fix this by cutting you. And Naruto says, go ahead. And Naruto licks his sword that has blood on it. And he says, blood technique, blood binding. And Zabuza feels a beat. A very hard beat and he's stuck there and Naruto walks towards him and he says now then why do I stab you oh I forgot I only have five seconds to do this and he slashes Zabuza across the chest two slashes and Zabuza jumps back and says this kid isn't normal I'm gonna actually have to try against him kid you've earned my respect and he starts powering up and a mist surrounds the area and Zabuza makes some water clothes and says we're gonna have a one on one. Loser dies, and Naruto says, Okay, sure. And Naruto says, What? And he says, Shit, it's the demon hunter for. And Zabuza crouches down like a beast on all fours. And a mist starts to come out of him, a black mist. And he stands up and rushes at Naruto with extreme speed. Naruto barely being able to keep up with it. And he's like, okay then. And he says, Rakiri, stabbing Zabuza in the chest, shocking him. And he's like, what? Impossible. And he spits out blood. All of a sudden, Haku jumps down and throws two symbols in his neck and says, I thank you. If it wasn't for you, I would have been able to catch you. You see... The Mizukage wants him dead. And Naruto says, but he promised the loser will die in the fight, so hand him over. I'll kill him for him. 
and he says the music and Kakashi says no we don't want to get in the foreign upset and he says I won't affect the leaf village and I'll give him to me and he starts grinning and Kushina says not again and her hair raises and Naruto says fine and they walk off and Naruto explains to them that was Zabu's assistant that's why I was being so persistent and he could sense it and this shocks Kushina she's like why didn't you tell me and Naruto says he has ice abilities he would freeze most of us and I'm pretty sure I won't be able to unthaw any of you without killing you that's how powerful my fires became and this shocks them they're like I see now Naruto deactivates his sharing gun and they get to Tazuna's house and Tazuna is like kid you did amazing today and they enter the house and they're eating and it's all silent and then Neri says you're all gonna die and Naruto looks at him and says, what? What do you mean we're all going to die? And he says, Gato has too many strong people. You can't win. And Naruto laughs. And Naruto says, allow me to show you what happened in the fight. And he says, Sharingan. And he looks in Neri's eyes. And Neri has a Sharingan in his eyes now. And Sakura's like, what did you do to it? And Neri sees everything that happened. And he's shocked. And Naruto says, I reassure you, your grandpa is safe and I'll be able to defeat him. By the way, he's a Jonin. And I wasn't even fully trying. And Naruto says, well, I'm going to go to sleep. And he does, but he wakes up earlier than anyone else. So he goes into the forest. And all of a sudden, a man floats down and says, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Jashi Nasuzuki. One of the ten Otsuzuki gods. And Naruto is shocked by his power. He says, You're a god. I've heard of your religion. And Naruto is terrified. And you, and Joshin says, Don't run. I'm not going to force you to join my religion. Or do any of that. I came to see how well you're doing. And progressing. And Naruto says, What do you mean? And Joshin says, At one point you're going to need to conquer the earth. But until then, unlock all of your dojutsus. Become as powerful as possible. There are some powerful shinobi here. I see why you decided to ally with them. I'll give you some advice. Absorb the tail beasts. Once you've done that, you can work under me. Then work your way up to become an Otsutsuki god. And Naruto says, Can you explain to me what the Otsutsuki are? I never got explained. My parents died and said, I killed your parents. And Naruto shook it. Joshin shocked that Naruto doesn't attack him. He's like, why didn't you attack me? He's like, well, I didn't know them. It's kind of like they abandoned me. Joshin laughs and says, well, kid. I killed them because they betrayed our clan. They left to go to Earth. And they killed my sister. And this shocks Naruto. And Joshin isn't even lying. He says, so how would you like to join me? Naruto says, I'll think about it. And Joshin says, well, you're not ready yet. So you have a long time. And he disappears. Now all of a sudden, Kakashi erupts from the bushes. And Naruto says, so, you heard it. And he's like, are you planning to destroy Earth? I'll have to cut you down right here. And Naruto laughs and says, Kakashi, I'm stronger than you. But I don't know. That man is way too powerful for anyone I know to deal with. Even if all five Kage joined, I could probably try and convince him not to destroy Earth for a year or so, but that's it and he's like well Naruto what are you planning to do he says I don't know yet honestly he told me I can unlock more dojutsu that so that actually tells me I can unlock the ring gun plus I saw him have a special type of sharing gun in his eyes he told me it's called the eye of six puffs and it's only his third strongest eye and Kakashi's shocked he's like of it it's the, it's above the eternal mangekyo that's impossible i thought it was mere myth and naruto says well everything that seemed to mere myth has seemed to come out as true and kakashi says i see you're right and menma and sasuke appear they're like ah oh, come on what are you guys doing here and naruto's like oh you guys hungry and they say, yeah, kind of. And Kakashi says, I'm hungry too. And Naruto says, Dimension. 
and he pulls spices, a table, and a stove, not a barbecue, out of his dimension and says, okay, time for me to start cooking. And the smell wakes everyone up in the village and Naruto starts pushing the cart. And he cooks some giant fish, he cooks some squid, calamari, he made some chicken, he made some steak. Everyone was feasting, even Tazuna came out. They gave food to the children and they thanked Naruto. And Kushina was shocked, same as Rei, they're like, that's what they did in the sleep? And Kushina says, did all of you do this? And Naruto says, yes. And Sasuke, Menma, and Kakashi say, it was mostly Naruto. And Kushina says, wait, where did the barbecue, barbecue come from? And Naruto says, dimension. And he pushes everything back in when everyone's done with their food. And says, oh, it's my new ability I learned from the guy with the Renegade. And this shocks. And Kakashi's like, wait, you learned from the guy with the Renegade? Does that mean everyone in your clan can use it? And Naruto says, yeah, he told me everyone can. Now we move forward. Everyone wakes up early, earlier than usual, so they go out, go to the bridge. But Naruto is left to sleep. They said, we'll come and collect him later. And Naruto wakes up and he's like, oh, morning. And he sees something and then he smells something malicious intent and he jumps up onto the roof trying to see it and then he sees Tazuname and Neri backing up and two guys with swords on the roof and saying well then we're gonna kill and Naruto slices one of their heads off and says who's your boss and he says the almighty Lord Kata but your and Naruto bashes his head into the ground jumping down from the roof killing him and he says, I must go. And he starts to float. And he's flying to the battlefield. At the speeds of Mach 10,000. That's how fast he can fly. Now Naruto starts descending slowly. But he's still hovering. And he's like, which side do I fly? And he says, Kakashi and Mother got this that dealt with. And he looks at Zabuza. And Zabuza says, hey kid, over here. Let's have our rematch. My promise is a promise. Loser dies, right? And Naruto says, after I defeat this guy. And Zabuza just stops fighting and says, okay, I'll wait. And this shocks Kushina and Kakashi. And I know you're like, why is Zabuza doing this? And it's because Zabuza was shocked by how powerful Naruto is. He wants to actually have a, a true fight. Maybe someone can finally beat him. Now, he has been beaten before, but not my technique like that purple lightning something no one's ever seen before and naruto sees the ice mirrors and he jumps in and rei says no naruto same as memo and naruto hops in and haku throws thousands of senbon and they all hit sasuke and naruto shocked and he had activated his sharingan before this and he's like And the whole battle mood stops. And Naruto says, You monster. And he starts to grin. And everyone's shocked. And Naruto's eyes start becoming more pointy. And they go three more tomos that become more pointy. And his eye starts to twist and twist and twist into a vortex until he unlocks his Mangekyo Sharingan. Now he looks at Haku and says, Exceed. And Haku starts to wither away. And then he says, Reverse. And Haku is revived. And he says, Exceed, reverse, exceed, reverse, exceed, reverse, exceed, reverse. And Haku is terrified. He, it's like he's stuck in an infinite loop of aging and coming back, dying, coming back, dying, coming back. And Haku starts to scream. And the ice mirrors stop, and Naruto keeps doing it. And he rips off Haku's mask. And he says, A female, that's not gonna stop me from killing you. Haku says, Oh, actually, I'm a boy. And Naruto says, Exceed. And Haku turns into just bones. Now, this aged him 
about 50 years forward. Then another 100 years after. And he's like, wow, then. And Zorba's is shocked. He's like, this kid. He's extremely powerful. He says, you killed my weapon. Well then. And Naruto says, I'll give you one chance. Turn yourself into the leaf village. And Zabuza thinks about it and says, if you can beat me, I will. And don't use that seed reverse skill. And Naruto says, fine. And he reverses Haku and says, Menma, Rei, kill him. And they're about to say, Sasuke is a lot. And Naruto says, shut up. With a dark tone. And he walks towards Zabuza and says, so you turn yourself in. And Joshin is watching all of this and he's grinning. He says, his abilities are quite amusing actually. I'm pretty sure this would work on Otsutsuki too. Too bad we can live for over a million years. Maybe he'll learn how to push it forward above a million years. If he does, he definitely will become one of the gods. And Naruto looks at Zabuza and says, I'm going to kill you in one second, okay? And Zabuza laughs and says, What? And Naruto had Naruto's perception of time had slowed. And he was dodging all of Zabuza's attacks and he cut Zabuza's head off and said reverse. And Zabuza was shocked. And Naruto kept doing it and said reverse. Up until time went back to normal and says, You lost 189 times. And Zabuza is shattered. He's like, you beat me. And Zabuza said, okay, you've won. And Haku says, oh, Zabuza losing to a child? You didn't do your job. Man, Kit and Naruto says, exceed, withering all of Gato's men. He says, you're the man Gato, correct? And Naruto grins with a sick, twisted face. And he twists his head. You know that psycho head kind of book? He's like, well then. And this terrifies Gato. He's like, you cheater. And Naruto says, oh, I cheated. And he says, reverse. And he kills all of them in one swift movement. And Gato says, no, you cheated. And Naruto says, okay. And he starts stabbing them individually. All of Gato's men are broken. And he says, succeed. Withering their bones away. Turning it into dust. Aging them over 10,000 years. He walks towards Gato and puts his hand on him and he rips his arm out of his socket and grins, punches Gato with a stomach and keeps doing it. And Gato is spitting out blood and he says, Tazuna, what do you want to do with the guy? And he says, tie him up, dump him in the lake. And Naruto says, I have a much better plan. And he creates some stone box that's kind of see-through actually. And he fills it up with water. And he puts Gato in there. And he closes the lid and says, you can see him drown. And when Gato's about to die, Naruto says, reverse, reverse, reverse. And he keeps doing it. Until Sasuke wakes up and says, Naruto, stop. Menma, Kushina, Kakashi, and Rei were all in horror. But Tazuna was enjoying it and he says, Kid, don't stop. That man has caused my village so much pain. And Naruto says, Don't worry, I won't. In fact, I'll allow you to do whatever you want with him in your village. And he takes Gato out with his healed, ripped off arm. He doesn't have his arm back, but he has only one arm left. And Naruto rips it out and heals it. He says, He can't do anything without arms. He says, also, I found the location of Gato's base. I'll tell you where his money is. And Tosman says, we can't thank you enough. You saved our village. You took down the man that tortured us all. I shall name this village the Great Naruto Village. And Joshin is laughing and says, this kid is amazing. He exceeded his body to 10,000 years. That means if he's fast enough, no human can stop him. But I'm trying to find a weakness for this ability. And it seems there's none. He can just use it as much as he wants. And Joshin starts cackling in his realm and says, Well, he'll make a really good subordinate. I'll make him my first horseman. The horseman of calamity. 
the horsemen of chaos, pain, famine, plague. I shall all choose them. He shall be my first. And Joshin stands up and goes back to the Otazuski Palace. This was no RPG. Now take it back to the Leaf Village. Adzobs is arrested and Minato hears of what Naruto did. And he thinks these eyes made Naruto turn dark and he deactivates them. And Naruto starts training, training all of his abilities, refining them. Now the tuning exams come up. And Naruto decides he may not participate in them. And Minato says, what do you mean? Naruto says, can, I, can you make it easier for me? If I fight you and manage to actually harm you, and Nar and Minato says no, and Naruto says if I manage to kill you, which I can reverse you back to your normal state after, and once, will you allow me to become a Chunin? And Minato says that's not the point of becoming a Chunin. The exam shows your skill. He says, put me up against your best fighter, I win doesn't matter I should already be a Chunin and Minato says fine but you know your whole squad will have to participate in what you're doing since you're not going to participate in the Chunin exams and Naruto says that's fine with me and they all appear and Minato says this was a request from Naruto you guys fight my strongest Anbu and you can work together or not this is how you guys become Chunin and Sasuke says there'll be a squad of three after and Minato says once there's a squad even if there's a hundred people if one leaves they can't do the exam do you get the point if one doesn't want to do it the team has to work in unity and they're like Naruto we could have just done it and Naruto says no one there is a match for my ability to them I'm a god and the Anbu were like oh really kid and Naruto activates his Sharingan and says Oh, Sharingan, so scary. And Naruto says, fine then. He says, Mangekyo Sharingan. Exceed. And the man withers into nothing but bone. All of it disappears into dust. And the other Anbu is shocked. He's like, that's what you get for mocking me. And Minato says, reverse him. And Naruto does and says, okay. I'll fight you properly. And he deactivates the Mangekyo, bringing it back to his Shuntomo. And the man is terrified of Naruto and says, You're a demon. You're a monster. You're not normal. You're not human. And Naruto says, You're right. I'm an Otsutsuki. Very clan that's not from him. And Minato is kind of shocked by how Naruto had changed. Now, when the Otsutsuki unlock their Mangekyo or something, it will make them darker even more powerful. That's how the real Otsutsuki take over planets. At first they're chill children, but then they change. Everything about them changes. A certain darkness grows. They don't care about family, parents, friends. They only care about their masters. That's what the Otsutsuki do. They conquer and control. And that's the amount of planets they destroyed. 800,000. That's not for all of the Otsutsuki, that's only Jashin alone. You get the whole reason why I say these are the most powerful people. Now let's get deeper into the story. I'll make this video 14 minutes long. It's a treat for you guys. And Minato says, well then, stop. And Naruto jumps back and shoots a white fireball and there's a Rekiri. And he blitzes one of the Anbu stabbing them. And then Menma's about to attack one of the Anbu and the Anbu's about to jump, but Naruto holds him in place and Menma slashes him and says, Thanks, Naruto. And Naruto makes himself a clone of Rei. And he runs at the Anbu, trying to hit them. But then the real Rei appears as Naruto behind. But they switch places. And the guard focusing on Naruto is hit by Rei, who smashes his face into the ground. And this is shocking Minato. He's like, the strategies Naruto is doing to strengthen me. And then he says, you ready, Sasuke? And Sasuke grins and says, I've never been more ready. And they start walking towards two Anbu. And the Anbu start laughing and saying, what are you two going to actually do? 
oh, you took out one of my weaker arms. I'm not going to look into your eyes. And Naruto laughs and says, no. And they keep switching places at extreme speeds until they both disappear. Naruto teleported them into a dimension and said, okay, they didn't expect us to appear. And Naruto appears by, above one, has a kunai to his neck, same as Sasuke, and says, done. And this shocks me now, so he's like, of course. And he says, Naruto, I've provided your whole team to Chunin. You'll be helping host the exams. And Naruto grins and says, see you guys? That was even more fun, and we became Chunins extremely quickly. Now we can do higher rank missions. And Memo says, you have to promise to let us fight though. And Naruto says, fine. But if I need to test new abilities, like new Tojutsu. And Sasuke says, wait, you have another? And Naruto says, I'm pretty sure I can unlock the Renegon and one above that and another above that and then another above that. Maybe there's one more last eye, I don't know. And Sasuke is shocked. Now, we it comes to the day of the tuning exam. And Naruto and his squad are there first, and this shocks the rest of the rookie nine. They're all wearing tuning vests, and some people are saying special treatment from the Hokage. And Naruto says, "Right, we're gonna be hosting this exam. Anyway, let's get into it." And he grins, and he says, "Follow me." First test, the academic test. Naruto wants to see if people can break his genjutsu. He places a high tier genjutsu which a few of them notice, but they can't break out of it. And Naruto says, stop. And everything is reverted back to normal. And they see they're still in the same room they were in. And everyone's shocked and Naruto laughs and says, I put you one in the Genjutsu. I know the people who understood they were in it. I made it high level so no one can break out of it. Now that was for the people who were saying, I don't deserve to be a Chuni. Me and my squad do. We worked hard. We defeated many Andu just to become Chunin. And Naruto says, anyway, actually follow me this time. And Sasuke says, what is the whole premise of this test? And he's like, it's not a secret meaning. You just need to win. But there is a meaning behind how you become a Chunin. The way you become a tuning is by teamwork, trust, and how you work together with other people, pretty much. Also smart. Sasuke so says, makes sense. And Naruto says, right, Rei is going to be hosting this. Show her respect. And he grins. And Rei says, okay, this is the acad acad ac academic test. And she says, question one. And she hands out all of the papers. And people are struggling. And Rei starts laughing at this. Oh, they'll never figure it out. And then someone answers and they get it correct. This person is Sakura. And in this, they decided to make you have to answer it out loud. So everyone would pass if someone got the, qu the question right. Because the questions were extremely hard. Ray says, question number two, three, and four. And people are struggling. Sakura gets two and three. Nino gets four. Five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven are all answered by one specific man. Gara. Gara used his stand eye to cheat. And Naruto says, Wow, so easy to catch you cheating, Gara. And Gara's shocked. He's like, You used your sand eye, right? And Gara's even more shocked. And he's like, No, I didn't. And Naruto says, Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kick you off the exam. And Gara says, and Naruto laughs and says, I'm just kidding. You got one of the premises of this exam, at least. And people are shocked. They're like, wait, what? He didn't disqualify him? And she says, final question. People keep answering wrong. And she says, now then, if you get past this stage, the next stage, if you fail, you'll never be allowed to come back ever again. And people say, it's not fair. And she says, it's new rules set in by our squad, the fourth Hokage, Ibiki, all of the Jonin Sensei, and pretty much everyone else in charge of the Leaf Village. And this shocks them all. 
and they're like, oh. And Naruto laughs and says, oh, this isn't going to be easy. And Rei says, all of you don't want to fail this year. Stand up and leave. And a few of them leave. And Naruto says, you passed. And some of them try to come back in. But Naruto says, you guys who left failed. The whole premise of the test was bravery. Simple. Follow me. And Naruto says, I'll be hosting this part of the exam. Now then, there's a heaven and earth scroll. And Minato and Kushina are monitoring how they're doing. And he's like, no, if you have a heaven scroll, go straight to the tower, but you may get attacked. The whole premise is, take someone else's scroll. And if you die, I need you to sign this, because the village is going to be responsible for it. A few people sign, and some people leave. And Naruto snaps and says, go. And Gara starts to get pissed off by Naruto. He says, he pisses me off. And Shukaku speaks to him and says, he has the nine. He has some type of power inside of him. Two of the people have the nine tails in them as well. And Gara says, Wait, what? What do you mean he has some weird power? Shukaku says, he has a power that's above mine. But I still think I can annihilate him. He still is human. A little, no, Shukaku senses part of the Sage of Six passing him. He says, but part of the old man I can sense in him. Maybe he's not human. And Naruto grins and says, that's Shukaku's Jinshiriki. He's unstable, you know. He may have to seal him. And Kakashi says, so he's unstable. And Naruto says, yes, he is. After this test, we actually need to seal him. And Naruto keeps going ahead with his squad and he's like, yeah, we should probably get to the tower. And all of a sudden, Orochimaru's squad comes and Naruto says, um, we're not participating, now can you leave? And he grins. And Orochimaru attacks with a giant snake, eating Naruto, Rei, Benma and Kashi. And Naruto says, I'll deal with this. And he slashes through the snake and says, Orochimaru! And he activates his Sharingan and Orochimaru is like, ah, yes, the Sharingan. And Naruto says, exceed. And Orochimaru dies right there. And Naruto laughs, but Orochimaru's soul is floating up. And he tries to make himself go into another child's body, which he does. And he's like, what was that? And that boy, he killed me on the spot. One ability, all he said was exceed. And he reincarnates back into his body and he's like, what was that? Naruto laughs and says, I'll fight you normally now. And he walks towards. And Naruto says, Black eyes dreads. And his eyes turn fully black and he puts his hands together. And four dragons erupt from the ground. And he's screaming out like he's taking a shit. A heavy shit. Like he's constipated. But anyway, the ice dragons all hear Orochimaru, and Orochimaru disappears. This was Paul. See you later. Bye.